All right, I am going to be soaking some beans. These ones are pintos overnight, but I'm also going to be mixing in a myriad of some of the kidneys, some black beans, got split peas, black eyed peas, don't tell Mr. Fruity, and navy beans. Okay, this morning I'm having some vanilla almond milk and I'm having um, a big sweet potato. And I cut up an apple and put it on top and some raisins and cinnamon. And I, you know, I'm making the choice every time I sit down, and, you know, it's kind of like a meal to meal choice. Do I put a sauce on? Do I want to add something extra? Um, do I want to keep it as simple as possible? So I opted, okay, not to try to put any sort of earth balance or fat on here. Um, I'm trying to keep it clean, trying to stay starch solution as much as possible. And also I opted not to put any agave on here because, or maple syrup, even though, you know, that might be a little nice, there's nothing really wrong with it, but I really want to just get to enjoying the flavors of the starch in the uh, sweet potato itself. And I think that's sweet enough, so I'm gonna go without anything on it other than the fruit. All right, new day, I've got my mixed beans um, that I'm reheating that were baking. They were really good. And my veggies over here, and I'm about to steam them. Um, you know, the great thing about eating like this, I've got potatoes baking. Uh, the great thing about doing this is that <laughs> pile on the veggies. You can just, you know, eat to your heart's content, you know. And you get full faster, and you got all this wonderful energy and this good stuff and lots of fiber. It's just all good. Here's lunch for me and Mr. Fruity. We've got the beans, potatoes. Look at these vegetables. I'm telling you what, you never go hungry as a whole foods vegan. My goodness, you are just full and you got everything you need. Good night. Sunday night and I'm not gonna use my Downton Abbey cups tonight. This is the cup that Calvin gave me. And I'm just gonna have some orange with some decaf and watch it. And sometimes, you know, I have to remember how delectable just plain fruit is. And I uh, don't always need a baked sweet. I mean, fruit is just phenomenal. So that's what I'm gonna have. for a quick mini haul from Trader Joe's. Let me start over here at this end. I spent about $65 and I got some more of those cash grounds. Those frozen cash grounds really come in handy when I don't have time to make the potatoes and cook the potatoes. And I just stick them right in the oven. You know, I don't cook them with the oil. So they tell you to add oil to a pan, just stick them right in the oven on a cookie sheet and they do just fine. Um, and then I've got the uh, chickenless uh, crispy tenders, the kids like those. Green bananas, which we're waiting for them to become yellow. I did get this one. Um, I do like adding lots of veggies to this. This does have some oil in it, but once in a while, um, once in a while I don't mind that too much. Um, it's real tasty. Um, let's see here. I got some of these chickenless tenders. Have not tried these. Um, see how the um, I'm gonna be thinking of putting them like a, a fettuccine or something for the family and see if they like that. Got more applesauce. My hubby loves these olives, and I'll have one once in a while, a couple maybe. I know they're fatty, so I don't have too much pizza sauce. Kids like the Fruitios. I did get more of those for them. Um, some fat free whole wheat bread here for this family. This is something that I've been using for a while. It's, um, it's a moisturizer, um, it is cruelty free, and um, honestly, this is like if you're like really allergic to like harsh types of um, you know cleansers and lotions and things like that and heavy perfumey ones, this one is really really easy. It's very hydrating and it's very inexpensive. I think it was like two ninety nine or something like that. And I just put that under all of my makeup every single day, and it works just great. 
Um, then I've got some of these corn tortillas. I did get some of the brown rice tortillas. Um, then I got some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm gonna make team broccoli snack and cheese soon. Um, then I got a whole bunch of fresh basil because I wanted, there was a, um, a McDougal soup I wanted to make with that. And then um, squash and I did get some dates because there's something else that McDougal makes uh, with the dates and I think it was a pie crust, I think it was. And so I wanted to try those. Um, and then I found these cute little tomatoes. I thought they were adorable, so I thought I would try them. And they're very kind of like soft, so I don't know if they're very sweet. Um, I got one of these hothouse cucumbers, some leeks and avos. Um, here I usually split these with Calvin because I don't want to have too many of them in my house because then I'll eat the whole thing and I don't want that. I only want a little piece here and there. Um, and then the broccoli. And then I got organic romaine, organic um, spinach, and then organic spinach blend. So there we go. That's about it. And uh, there you go. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. At lunch, I'm having um, a leftover baked potato, which I cut up and added two um, leftover veggies from a stir fry and leftover tofu stir fry, um, tofu scramble. And uh, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but it really is great. And I'm gonna probably bake some potatoes and do this in the future.